What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Super excited to share this video with you guys today because it is a very special one from literally one of the smartest Amazon sellers that I know. If you guys do not know the name Scott Needham, then I will definitely say that you should. Not only is Scott someone that I consider a good friend, but Scott is a mega large Amazon wholesaler. His company, Buy Boxer, is literally one of the biggest FBA sellers in the world. Um, I think they have like the largest FBA catalog on all of Amazon, so he definitely knows what he's doing. And Scott is the host of my absolute favorite Amazon podcast called The Smartest Amazon Seller. So if you are watching this video and you are someone who is looking to to expand your wholesale knowledge, grow your Amazon business, then 100% you need to subscribe and listen to that podcast as soon as possible. Now, for the last few weeks, myself and my team of wholesale buyers in my business, we have been using a brand new software that Scott just created and I mean, I love it, so I wanted to share it with you guys. The name of the software is called Smart Scout. It's actually quite different from anything else out there on the market. And over the last few weeks, we have been using it very successfully as a new way to find really high quality supplier leads, um, to find more of the types of brands who will say yes to working with Amazon sellers. We've been using it to quickly analyze a brand's products and find some of the best ASINs with the lowest competition. And we've also been using some of the data that we pull from the software when presenting to potential brand and brand owners. So it's been super helpful, super cool. Really wanted to share it with you guys. Um, last week, Scott was kind enough to record a few free training lessons for my students in the Wholesale Academy. Um, basically what he did was showing some of the ways that he uses the tool and honestly the training was so good that I just decided not to keep it all to myself and instead share some of it here with my YouTube community. Um, I'm sure in the very near future I'm going to record some new content with the tool as well, but in the meantime, I think you guys are going to get a ton of value from this video and from this tool. And now, lastly, Scott was kind enough to hook up a very nice discount on the software for my followers. So if you like this video and Smart Scout is something that you might be interested in trying, I'm going to put a link down below where you can save a few bucks if that's something that you want to do. So without further ado, check out this training from the amazing Scott Needham and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Peace. Hello, Wholesale Academy. My name is Scott Needham, and I'm also a wholesaler like you. Uh, but first off, I want to thank Larry for this chance to talk to you guys. I know you're in good hands with Larry. I've listened to him uh, over uh, over a year now, and everything that he shared with, I've been motivated, and like I can confirm that it's right that he tells a lot of excellent ideas on how to scale a wholesale business on Amazon. I mean, and one thing I, I like about Larry is he doesn't lie that it's a get rich quick, like this is business building and, um, but it is a, a, a lucrative opportunity in itself. Um, so I am a wholesaler. I. Uh, eight years, started about eight years ago and helped my brother turn his brick and mortar store into something much, much bigger. Uh, we have sustained about uh, five years in a row now with over 50 million in sales on Amazon. And, um, and in spite of what others th think about the competition that's going on um, or like it's too saturated, this last year was our most profitable year to date. Uh, we grew our gross margins. So think about that. And that was that was happening before the pandemic um, happened. And we, we grew to the highest levels that we have. And um, so, but there's a lot of challenges that uh, we obviously see. Um, as a software developer, I tried to solve some of these challenges. And these are things like avoiding head, uh, selling against Amazon retail head to head, uh, making sure that we're spending time with the brands that will say yes to wholesalers and that 
that we're also talking to the best of the best opportunities. Um, you're going to see if, with what I'm going to share with you that there are thousands of brands and it was just always nagging at the back of my mind, uh, knowing like maybe the next one's going to be better. Um, when, it, when are we going to find the best? It, it, it was this ongoing conversation. Um, and then there's a few other uh, problems such as, you know, brands with a lot of competition. Uh, so there's less price wars going on. And then, you know, you want to find these, these brands that do sell frequently so you can keep your inventory moving, spending less in fees and have less of your money just sitting, uh, waiting. So I've built a solution that I know will help. Uh, it's, I'll show you a quick demo and you'll be shocked about the opportunity that awaits. Uh, the coolest thing is I've learned that there are thousands of brands that are ready and you're going to be able to see them all. This is a, some, you might say just a map of all of the brands on Amazon and what's happening. And I know that this, uh, has like really changed our sourcing, uh, the way that we have worked and found brands. And so let's jump into a demo real quick. All right. So here we are inside of smart scout and, um, it, you know, let's just assume that, you know, we're starting out first time users and I'll show you why and how it helps you find the best of the best. So let's look at um, a category that I know. Let's do toys and, you know, these default filters, at least four products over a thousand dollars of revenue and we do a search and this is going to bring back thousands of brands in the toy category. And then where the true power of Smart Scout is these additional filters that are given. Um, you know, we got revenue, we got it's Amazon's in stock rate, we have average number of sellers, average number of FBA sellers, average selling price. Uh, let's see if there's even any hidden columns. It's like total number of reviews is a hidden column. Um, and then uh, the total product count dominant seller. This means if someone is doing more than 50% of the revenue on a brand, then I'll, I'll show the, the dominant seller. Now, um, there's also a brand score. This is an average of the, of, of the quality, not the quality of the content that they have on their Amazon pages. Do they have a lot of images? Do they have a lot of bullet points? Um, while uh, the other tools out there, they do have this at the product level. None of them have it at the brand level. This is brand new and uh, really uh, uh, a, a, just a great way to see like what is a brand doing on Amazon. So let's just start throwing on some filters and take this 17,000 to and find the best of the best. If we get this down to like a hundred, I'm happy. That means I'm like, it means I'm, I've got work for the afternoon and I got a hundred suppliers that I, I think are more likely to say yes to us. So let's just do a minimum of a hundred thousand to, uh, to a million, a strike zone of a big brand and, but not too big. Um, and then let's take, you know, we only want Amazon's and stock rate to be uh, up to 20%. We've spent a lot of money and resources to make sure that, you know, we're not competing against Amazon. It's been the biggest mistake of my business is just going head to head with them and thinking that it's like worth our time. It's just not. And let's see, we're down to 1200 brands. Let's see if we could find some more filters. Um, Average number of FBA sellers. We don't want them to have more than four. So uh, that didn't get rid of a lot. Um, so let's get rid of the dominant sellers. The way to do that is to go into filter and just deselect everything, but then only select the blanks. That means um, there's no dominant seller. That means they're definitely, they're, they're most likely just not private label. And now we're down to 311. Let's get a rid of the products that are large. Uh, let's go 0.2. Because we don't want to deal with oversize. Actually, let's go even lower, 0.1. There we go, real small stuff. And then average selling price higher. 
let's go to 23 because it sure is nice when those packages uh, have a lot of value in small. It's, it's, it's a way to scale your distribution. See, like right now, we're solving problems that like we're gonna thank ourselves later for. And here we have 52 in the toy brand. We started out with 17,000. And the truth is, is there are many other toy brands that are relevant. I just wanted to find the best of the best. If I'm gonna work for an hour doing this, I want to only you know deal with the brands that I think are gonna say yes to us and that are uh, uh, the best opportunity. And then, then you can come in, you can click right here and see what it looks like. You know, Ultra Pro is, they, they got these like sleeves, so it's in the hobby section or it looks like, you know, Pokemon cards, if you wanna protect them, this is what people are using to buy and so I'm sure they're doing really well right now because card collecting is on the up. Um, and, we could jump into Woodland Scenics and just like, it, I like to, you know, just get an idea of what it is. This is, a, again, this is part of the hobby section. Um, really good products in general. And then I'm gonna show the brand and then we're gonna look and see what's happening. Um, here we have, you know, the list of products or as they load up. Looks like these two have been out of stock recently. You know, monthly revenue estimates at, this, at the ASIN level. And then um, looks like we have category rank. Um, I have to resorted it now. Here's then we could also look at the sellers. So it looks like Amazon is here and doing some of the revenue. But um, here we have all these hobby. I do like sometimes seeing you know Hobby Speed, Hobby Inc., um, Caspian, uh, a huge seller. So I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see Buy Boxer at some point. <laughs> Let's see if we're anywhere to be found. I mean, you could even filter to find us. Sorry, this is just my company and I'm, yep, there we are. How much are we doing? We're doing $1,000 a month. So um, that's kind of fun. But let's remove that and it's just an idea. When you see like the list of all their sellers, you kind of know like, who's in their strike zone. Um, I think maybe I, <laughs> I gotta select all. Oh, that's what I gotta do, I gotta remove my filter. But back at the products, uh, looks like it's uh, still loading. It may have refreshed when I uh, redid that filter or, uh, you know, I have seen sometimes it just needs to, to, to restart. Um, then, you know, you can start looking at the, at a product basis. Like here's one that does seven thousand dollars a month, um, and then you know we got others on down. So we, you know, Woodland Scenics worth looking into. Um, uh, Seco, I'm pretty sure that we also sell in this brand. Is this a puzzle? That's right, um, puzzles. Uh, are doing really well. So I don't want to dive in too much, but you get an idea of what you can do. We, you know, we can filter out, let's do a minimum of a thousand. Let's just find their top products. And here we go. You know, if you want to show, show up to them, like I want to sell these puzzles. Well, here's the ones that are doing revenue and how many sellers are on them and so forth. So you can see really quickly that I can get lost in this real fast. I can go over the beauty category. Again, same uh, process applies. There are tens of thousands of brands and I can uh, start to whittle down to the ones that I want to work with. Looks like the filters that I had are already being used. Um, I can even save these filters. Let's see, I saved a filter and I could apply it. Let's say if I change the filter, then I hit, I could save it. And so that's, this just becomes faster. That's kind of like a quality of life issue. Another thing is I could type in notes. Um, let's go uh, kiss, said no. And there you have it. So you could come back and, and 
um, kind of use this as you know a full-on you know R&D tool. Um, you can start to source off of other sellers uh, you, by here in the sellers page. If you know a specific one in your segment, uh, let's pick on Pharma Packs. Um, you know, 27 million in revenue is obviously an estimate. I'm doing the best that I can. I've gotten it wrong sometimes, but like that's not too far off. There, there are three to four hundred million dollar revenue business um, easily. Uh, then I can, you know, show their top offers and find out, you know, what is really driving them revenue. Um, so. I'm only scratching the surface. There is, you know, this traffic graph. Uh, that's a lot of fun. Uh, looks one's taking a second because they must be pulling in a lot. There we go. Um, see, it looks like they're actually pretty divided out onto a lot of different uh, SKUs. That is definitely a great way to increase revenues to increase your SKU count. Um, I'm just going to show the traffic graph once. If you want to impress uh, brands that you're working with, you can be like, hey, like, uh, let's uh, Huggies. Let's check out a brand. This I actually haven't tested this keyword out. This is We're into diapers. I, I searched diapers once. Um, but here we go. This is a, a, a traffic graph. It's, it's taking a second to load in all the images. But... Um, you know, you can see if, if you want to see where Huggies is getting traffic from, I click on it and the the purple arrows are the inbound traffic and looks like it's got one really big inbound traffic, this guy, uh, a multivitamin. That's awesome. You know, if I were like competing with Huggies, uh, say I'm Pampers, well, I want to I wanna steal this uh, from that. So there's some presentation things here that are really great with Smart Scout. Wow, am I in the weeds. <laughs> and, uh, and, there, and, there, and there's more that I haven't even covered. What's really great about this tool is there's more than one way to use it. I know there's retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, wholesale. Um, this is a very private label uh, uh, focused feature. So you're going to get a lot of value packed in one tool and it's only getting better. I started our first line of code about six months ago. So you can imagine uh, that we're moving fast. So you saw a lot and uh, there's there's even more in the tool that I didn't have a chance to show you that uh, may help you in your business. Um, one of the coolest things is that you'll be able to start conversations with brands knowing more about the Amazon opportunity that their brand represents than they do. Um, and you can show where you can add value. Say they have a low brand score uh, and uh, certain things, um, the insights that you'll want when you're when you're talking with them. So I've worked with Larry and to make sure that the Wholesale Academy, you know, has the best chance to use this. I know it can be a valuable resource and, you know, some of the early adopters uh, to Smart Scout uh, have talked about how it's completely replaced their other other software solutions for sourcing products. And another early user said it's it's kind of like uh, that like you feel like you're cheating and that you don't want other people to have access to this tool. Be so it, it, it is quite good. And so I want to make sure that you guys have a chance and, you know, have a, have a good coupon code and, and get you running so that, you know, your business can continue to grow. Um, so, uh, thanks and, uh, take care.